In today's video, we're playing Yargle and Multani, a 6-mana 18-6 creature, and in this deck, it's actually better than Emrakul the Aeon's Torn. You're not going to believe me, that's fine, but the decklist will prove it to you. Why is Yargle better than Emrakul? Well, if you haven't looked at today's deck list, I wouldn't blame you. I didn't know what the answer was before I did, and it's because of Kerrigan Wick Cremator. For 2 and 2 red, you get a 5-4 creature. When this enters the battlefield, you discard a card at random. If it's a creature card this way, it deals its power to target player or planeswalker. Well, Yargle plus Multani is an 18-6 creature. Emrakul is just a 15-15. But on top of that, we're also a Gorio's Vengeance deck, which means that Yargle and Multani gets to live in the graveyard, where with Emrakul, you have to have the Gorio's Vengeance immediately. And our deck that features blood tokens for the Voldaren Epicure or Underworld Cookbook, sometimes it's easier to just have that card in the graveyard. So Yargle plus Multani, actually better in this deck. We have Urza Saga for consistency to find the Underworld Cookbook. We have Profane Tutor to find Gorio's Vengeance. You can also, hidden secret mode of Thoughtseize, target yourself to put one of these large creatures into your graveyard and then reanimate it back. I am so thrilled to be playing this deck list today. It's been on my radar for a few weeks. I've been wanting to play it, but trying to get those Lord of the Rings videos out. Super excited. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Support the channel. I would greatly appreciate that. But for now, let's head it on in to match number one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsfirm.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsfirm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. I am so pumped. I am truly excited to Yargle people in this video. We're on the play. All right, we have Profane Tutor. We have the Yargle. Okay, we can lead off on an Inquisition as well. I think I'm into this. This hand just needs to find a Goryeo's Vengeance. We have the tools to do it. All right. Turn one, Swamp, Inquisition of Kozilek. Oh, we're facing uh, my default modern deck, Living End. To get rid of that Violent Outburst, we'll pass the turn. They play a Steam Vents going to 18, the magic number for Yargle. Let's find that... Um, what is it called? Goryeo's Vengeance. There we go. Why can't I remember card names? Draw for turn. We find a Black Cleave Cliffs. Let's suspend the Profane Tutor here. Pass the turn. They cycle an Architects of Will. Interesting. I mean, they had the Grief. They chose not to Grief me. They play a Basic Forest. Still no Grief. Okay. We lose a counter on the Profane Tutor. Next turn, we will have a Goryeo's Vengeance. Another Cliffs, okay. Let's play the Cavern of Souls. We can actually make it uncounterable. Uh, what is Kerrigan Cremator's creature type? It is apparently a giant shaman. So let's name shaman here. Okay, we'll tap the shaman land to play an underworld cookbook. And then we'll play Voldaren Epic here. You'll take one and like it, go to 17, and we get a blood token. Pass the turn. They use Waker of Waves. They put a Besager to the graveyard. Interesting. And now they use the Grief. I feel like I might as well put the Yargle to the graveyard, right? And now the Grief does nothing? I mean, the downside is now I don't have an uncounterable win on our turn, but... Oh well. They cycle Street Wreath down to 15. Cycles Generous Ent. So if they don't have a Force of Negation, we have them dead here. So if that's the case, should I be using the blood token to discard the Black Cleave Cliffs trying to find a discard spell? I think the answer is yes. We'll discard the Cliffs. Oh, that was a good one. All right, Profane Tutor. We will cast it. Let's go find our Goryeo's Vengeance. Take a draw for turn. Oh, so we just get to have it all. All right, Inquisition you. So they could find a counterspell here. Ooh, they actually had subtlety for the Kerrigan Wick. Main deck subtlety. How about that? 
take the violent outburst, I suppose. And let's attempt the Gorio's Vengeance on the Yargle. Uh-oh, they didn't try to do anything in response. They could have used the Waker of Waves looking for Force of Negation, and they didn't. Yeah, that's just a giant punt from the opponent. But we'll take game number one with Yargle. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let's change this. I always prefer the card view. I know it's weird, but it's what I like. Okay, so... Big fan of Leyline of the Void. Blood Moon hasn't been super effective against Living End ever since Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth because now they have all those wonderful land cyclers I'm a huge fan of. All right, let's bring in the Spell Bomb. So that's 67 cards at the moment because I want the extra Thought Seasons. You can definitely board out Lightning Bolt. That's not a great card in this matchup. Now we're at 63. I think I want to board down on cookbooks. Like, I just don't think that card is super good in the matchup. We have Urza Saga. We'll keep in one just as a Saga target. Maybe board out a land? Is that crazy? Maybe the second basic swamp? Or you could board out an Urza Saga. Because I don't think that this is a great Saga matchup. Even though it does find Spellbomb or Cookbook. Hmm. I'll do basic Mountain. How about that? So the swamp casts our eight discard spells which is why I didn't want to board it out, but I guess the mountain doesn't do a whole lot. <laughs> All right, this is a weird one. No Ley Line of the Void, uh, and it's kind of slow. I think you're supposed to mulligan this. Our opponent has finally decided that they wanted to keep their seven. We will mulligan. All right, so no Ley Line, but we do have double Inquisition Spell Bomb. So this hand just needs a discard outlet. It's interesting. I think I'm going to go to five looking for a ley line. <sighs> Deck hates me. Um, we'll keep. Bottom Saga and the Epicure. All right. I mean, we have four ley lines in the deck. They cycle a pair of Street Wraith to start off. They're already down to 16 life into Sunken Ruins. I cut this card because it doesn't cycle any of your other things. It's just not great. All right, we'll lead off on Urza Saga and pass the turn. This will get our Singleton Underworld Cookbook, which should give us a protected turn three, assuming that our opponent doesn't grief us or anything else. And it looks like they don't have that second land. Greedy, greedy, greedy. Another Thoughtseize. Big fan. So now we have double protected turn three. Let's Thoughtseize now. They have Force Indigation, Endurance. Let's take the Force Indigation for now. Pass the turn. And they missed. We'll draw. Leyline of the Void. Right on time. Right on time. We'll float a mana. And now we'll go grab our Underworld Cookbook. Play a Blood Crypt. Yes, I'd like to pay two life. We will now Thought Seize. Okay, we'll take their Endurance. And float a black. Full priority. Discard a card. We'll discard the Emrakul. And now I will Gorio's Vengeance back the Emrakul. So this will put them to one life. And our opponents conceded the game. Yes. 1-0 Yargle combo. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. On the play for match number two, we've won the die roll. All right, so we have Gorya's Vengeance, we have a Saga. This seems great. The only thing that we're missing at this point is a large, thick creature. We have eight of those, so I believe, and I could be wrong, that that makes this hand good enough. So we're probably going to just lead on the first turn Underworld Cookbook, second turn Saga, and, you know, occupy our opponent's time with the Saga until we can find the actual payoff. Turn one, Flooded Strand, okay. We'll dare an Epicure. I'm still going to lead on the Saga for now. Our opponent uses Flooded Strand on her end step, and they grab a Steam Vent. So likely is it Murktide at the moment? And end step, Consider. 
They milled over a Bowmasters. Okay, so they're not just is it, they're at least Grixis. Maybe. Okay, well, the Emrakul is a good draw. I was going to say maybe I should be creating food tokens so that way my Saga constructs are larger. But I don't actually want to discard anything from her hand. Like, I guess I could discard the Epicure. We'll pass. And there's the Watery Grave. They're at 14 and they flash in a Bowmasters. You might have been saying, Bryant, why didn't you just jam last turn? Our opponent had two open mana. Counterspell is a pretty uh, common card in modern, and I don't want to run into a counterspell if I don't have to. Our opponent plays a Spiral Bluff Canal. Or Spiral Bluff Canal. I've played that card tons of times. Why am I saying it so weirdly? I don't know what's wrong with me. Bear with me. They grab an island off their Lorien Revealed. Murktide Regent. Okay. I'm sorry, opponent, but I believe uh, you are what the kids call dead ski. Okay. Let's grab the basic mountain. We'll activate, discard the epicure. Make a saga construct. Untap. Draw for turn. Tap the saga for mana. We're not going to make a construct because we're going to kill our opponent instead. Grab a cookbook. Play another Saga. And just because I always get afraid, I'm going to hold priority here. You probably don't have to. I just don't trust myself. So uh, deal with it, I guess. And now we'll Gorio's Vengeance back the Emrakul. Our opponent only has six permanents. Uh, not good for them. And instead, they're just dead. We have not dropped a game yet. you love to see it. Murktide. All right. In this matchup, you probably want the other Inquisitions. And I don't think our sideboard really has much else, so we need to find two more cuts. I think I'm actually going to shave Profane Tutors here. I don't think that that card is super good in the matchup, but I could be wrong. Hmm. No, I, I'm going to cut two Profane Tutors. That's my decision. Okay, so here we have the Goryo's Vengeance and a lot of thick boys. We don't have any way to get them to the graveyard. Uh, do I keep this? I think I'm going to. I probably shouldn't, but oh well. This is where they play a turn one Ragavan and punish me. A tapped Steam Vents. That's what I want to see. Thoughtseize. That's a good one. All right. I'll lead on the Black Leaf Cliffs. Play the Thoughtseize. Why did you keep your hand? Counterspell. Expressive Iteration. Let's just take the Counterspell. If they want to play the expressive on turn two, they're giving up a lot of value. So it's a turn three play for them, and I think that's fine for us. Yeah, and they're going to hold it. We draw another Cliffs. We'll play a Bloodstained Mire and pass the turn. Expressive Iteration. So if I could draw a Thoughtseize here or a Cookbook, we might be able to get our opponent. Yeah, they miss on their land. So we have some draws here that would win us the game. We'll grab Blood Crypt. Maybe I'm supposed to grab the Overgrown Tomb there for Hardcast Yargle, but I don't know. We draw another land. We'll pass. Two red mana. A dashed Ragavan. Sure thing. Okay, Ragavan triggers. No! Why? Why do you have to be like this? There's no justice. Yep. Take my Gorio's Vengeance. Yep. Our best draw at this point is a Cremator off the top. Okay. Another Emrakul. All right, we'll play the Cliffs Tapped Pass. Our opponent dashes another Ragavan after they searched out a Watery Grave. They attack. I go to 13, they trigger. Inquisition. I don't have any cards that cost less than three, so if they want to sacrifice their treasure here, they can do it. They wisely choose not to, so they might have a counter target spell in their hand at this point. Hookbook. Let's play it. Force of Negation. Wow. Okay. They play a Consider and a Ragavan. Notice how they're leaving two mana up. That screams counter spell. Suspend a Profane Tutor. Pass. They play a Nurse's Bobble. And they look at her top card. Murktide Regent, 7-7. Seven, seven. So they have three cards in hand, one of which is an Unholy Heat, and they accidentally skip their attack step. We'll draw. They know what our card is, whatever it's about to be. 
Well, okay. Maybe they didn't want to. Okay. I see what the. They left the card on top with Mishra's Bobble because. All right. So they saw that we were going to draw a dud and then decided not to attack with Ragavan. It was not an accident. This was a carefully planned uh, have fun drawing a dead card. And it was a swamp. Okay. So we're at 13. They have nine power on the board. They attack for nine. I will fall the four life. Ragavan triggers. They hit a land. They play a channeler and a land. So now they're back down to two unknown cards. Profane tutor. We'll cast it. And here's the counter spell. Okay. So our best possible draw at the moment. The only way that we win this game is if we draw the Kerrigan Wick Cremator and hit the 25% on discarding the Yargle. Instead, we draw Emrakul number four. Ugh. All right. I got punished for a bad keep, I suppose. Let's go to game three. I'm going to board up the Epicures, I think. I just want a more consistent deck and bring in Profane Tutors. Maybe I should have done that for game two, although I never drew an Epicure the entire game. Game number three. Yeah, this is amazing. Keep. Let's lead off on Inquisition. Alpine Moon. Uh, yeah. I, I, okay, I guess you can name Urza Saga with that. Um, well, we don't have any Sagas right now, so I'm not going to worry about Alpine Moon. We'll take the counter spell. Pass the turn. They play their land, Mishra's Bobble. They look at our top card. And I have to imagine that they're playing Ragavan here. And they do. So now they'll draw a card off the bobble. And we draw Blood Crypt. I'm going to play Blood Crypt tapped. And we're just going to remove the Ragavan. So you might be saying, why not cast Thoughtseize here? I could, but our opponent only has two unknowns. So I don't really see the point in just like firing this off. I can hold it for a little bit, try to draw into something more meaningful. I don't care about your Alpine Moon. That's fine. They named Urza Saga. Sure. And they missed their second land. Another Cremator. All right. So there's a chance I draw one of our thick creatures on our turn. So I'm going to cast the Thoughtseize. I'm going to hold off on grabbing the Overgrown Tomb. We'll play this. They counter it. Interesting. Okay. So they still have a pair of lightning bolts in their hand. I close or I cross them out, but we know that two of their four cards are lightning bolt. And they pass. We draw another land. I think I'm going to hold off. I don't want to just play these as five fours. They find their second land. So two lightning bolts, two unknowns. We'll fetch. Now we'll grab that overgrown tomb. Just in case hardcasting a Yargle and Multani comes up. Inquisition. We can hold that for now. Okay. They cycle Lurian Revealed. And now they can go grab their Steam Vents. That's what they do. And that gives them the red red for the pair of Lightning Bolts. Okay. I will fetch going down to 17. Let's just grab another Swamp. There's our Multani! All right, Inquisition. So this will give us a 50-50 chance of killing our opponent this turn. Ooh, they have a counter spell. So I guess we play the Multani. Or I'm sorry, play the Kerrigan Wick. Hope that they counter spell it. Next turn, kill them. Okay. So we know that their hand is a pair of Lightning Bolt. And we have the win rolled up on turn three. On turn three, next turn. Ignore me. I don't know how to talk. Why you're watching this, no clue. Maybe you just like Yarble. No matter how you skin it, our opponent is dead here. Cremator. Trigger, target the opponent. Yargle! We did it. We're 2 0 over Merktide. You love to see it. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. 
we've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Match number three, we're on the draw and we will keep. We just need a discard outlet for this Yargle and Multani. Our opponents will reveal the Kahira. I have to imagine they're on four color of some sort. Profane Tutor. I like that one. I th uh, maybe I'm supposed to fire off the Inquisition? Yeah, let's just do that. I feel really dumb if they like played a Teferi or something on three and I couldn't stop it. They have a Solitude. Okay. They use their Flooded Strand and grab a Regrin Triome. Breeding Pool. And then I have to imagine Ren and Six is coming here, and it does. Okay. They grab the Flooded Strand back in their hand. And we'll draw for turn. Thoughtseize. I do like that. But first we're going to suspend this Profane Tutor. Pass. They play the Flooded Strand down to 16 life. They Ren. All the good things. Profane Tutor loses a counter. Emrakul. Okay. Overgrown Tomb. Let's Thought Seize them. Solitude and, you know, lands. So our opponent has to draw something off the top or else they're dead. They're at 15. Kahira to hand. So at this point, it has to be Solitude. Okay, Profane Tutor. Yes, I would like to cast it. And now we just need a discard outlet. And I think our best discard outlet is the Underworld Cookbook. So we'll take a draw. Player land. We'll tie up the ball game going to 15 each. We'll grab a basic. Play the cookbook. And then I'm going to hold priority. Discard the Emrakul. And then Gorio's Vengeance the Emrakul. Boom. Love it. Alright, so we want Blood Moons. We want Inquisitions. I think that's probably good enough. We don't need Lightning Bolt in this matchup. Those can get out of here. Maybe shave a cookbook. Let's try this. Game number two, we will keep. We're just looking for that Kerrigan Wick Cremator or Gorio's Vengeance. They lead on Misty Rainforest. Okay. Let's search out a basic, just in case we draw Blood Moon. Inquisition. They grab a breeding pool. Is this a fluster storm? Spell pierce. Okay. We'll pass the turn after that. They play another triome. Blood moon. Let's attempt another thought seize. Counterspell to fairy. Leyline binding. It's tough because they're just going to slam to fairy next turn, and then the blood moon does nothing. So I think I'm going to take the to fairy and hope for the best. Or maybe I'm supposed to take the Counterspell in that the Epicure... We hope that the Epicures get the job done? I don't know. Maybe I made the wrong choice there. Maybe I'm supposed to just take the Counterspell and say good luck. I don't know. Okay. We'll attack for one. Get in there. I am the beatdown. Let's play another Epicure. This will bring them to 14. Pass. So I guess they had Double Island. Maybe I'm supposed to just get rid of the Blood Moon. Prismatic ending. Okay, that seems like... I guess it hits cookbooks. I lied. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to ditch the Blood Moon here. As crazy as that seems. Goodbye, Blood Moon. Cremator, but they still have a counter spell. Let's grab Overgrown Tomb. Lifts? That seems fine. Swing better, better. Swing. They're at 13. So I could use the blood token, but I think I'm going to keep it around. I think it has more use later. Ooh, that was a good draw. Swing. Play the Thoughtseize. So they have one unknown card at the moment. Okay, well, if it's not a counterspell, you're dead. Okay, red mana, red mana, black, black. Kerrigan Wick Cremator. Yargul! I love it. 3-0. This deck is good. I can't believe I put this off for two weeks to record. We're 3-0. I'm feeling so good about this. Can we get the last two? Stick around and find out.
If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. We are a yargle away from greatness. I will keep this hand. I mean, we have the Gorius Vengeance, we have the Cremator. We just need to draw one of our eight thick creatures. That's all we want. And then easy peasy lemon squeezy. Black leaf cliffs, okay. We're, it's not likely the mirror. It's probably Rakdos scam. We draw Saga. We're going to hold off on playing that for now. Let's instead play Voldaren Epicure. Maybe this is the game that we win with Urza Saga. Who knows? After all, Epicure does make blood tokens. They play a swamp and they're just passing. Interesting. We draw the Yargle! Okay, we could be looking at a turn three win here. Let's swing. And one thing that we're going to do here is we're going to play the Saga because this will encourage our opponent to make a move. And now we'll play another Epic here. Take that, you're at 17. Pass the turn, and now we're set up for a turn three. I guess it's a turn three, assuming our opponent doesn't do anything. They go to 15. Fable the Mirror Breaker. Yeah, like Yargle doesn't swing through a Fable. Okay, so I guess what I could do is like discard. I'm not going to do that though. I'm just going to wait for my window on this Gorio's Vengeance. Or we could just draw Ember Cool. I'd also be okay with that. Thought Seize. Okay, I'm just going to hold off. We'll play the Saga game. I think it's just what's best at the moment. Fable goes up to the second chapter. They get to discard two, draw two. They opt not to, which is kind of surprising. All right, so they get to create a treasure here. And we'll double block with our vampires. Okay. The one ring. All right, so they have protection from everything, which means that my Yargle will not kill them. Okay. You know, I think it's not right that the one ring stops Yargle. Yargle is such a meme that Yargle should be able to get through protection from everything. My two cents. Uh, completely unbiased. But uh, that's how I feel, and you can't tell me otherwise. We draw another Gorio's Vengeance. We'll create another huge construct. And then we'll search our deck for an Underworld Cookbook. Play the, uh, the Overgrown Tomb. No point in casting Thought Seize this turn. Our opponent still has protection from everything. And we'll pass the turn. The One Ring brings them to 14 life. And Fable will transform this turn. Shield Dread the Apocalypse. Okay. And they lose... Or they gain 2 life because the One Ring. It's quite the combo. They're at 18 now. Okay. I'm going to discard... Hmm. We'll do the Yargle. Okay. We draw an Epicure, we lose two. Play the Epicure, which will create another blood token so our constructs will get a little bit bigger. And then we will Gorio's Vengeance back the Argle. And they have to chump block or else they're dead. So that is the game plan here. We'll go to combat. Swing, swing. Okay, so if I make a, another food here, they'll take eight. I'm interested in that. We'll discard Thoughtseize. Okay, so both their creatures die. We get to maintain a large construct. And then our Yargle, unfortunately, goes to the graveyard. Hate to mend this, but Emrakul might have been a little bit better there. But I'll edit that out. You clearly don't need that in the evidence uh, file of where, in the video, I say that it's better than Emrakul. So let's just pretend that didn't happen. All right, opponent's at 7 life now. We have a 7-7 seven, seven on the battlefield. They evoke a grief. So I have a feeling we're going to lose our hand here. No, they sacrifice it to the graveyard. Interesting. They have four cards left. Dothy Voidwalker, which does not block a 7-7 because of Shadow. Ah, they have Terminate. Okay. We'll draw a card. Another Cremator. Ay, ay, ay. I guess we just attack for one here. They can't block, so they'll take one. Going to six when they have the one ring in play. They lightning bolt the epicure. Sure. Pass the turn. 
They have a single card in hand. So now they'll lose two life to the Wondering going down to five. They attack. We'll go to 15. And I don't want to discard anything to Dothy. Or, well, because of Dothy being in play. Like, if I discarded now, it would actually be quite punishing. They find another copy of the Wondering. So now they can sacrifice the one that has three counters on it. They gain protection from everything for a turn. And now they're not losing life in their upkeep. That was a very good turn for them. They're at four. And they play another Dothy. Okay. So we're going to gain three life here. But this does mean that if I draw a red source, we have a win in hand. It would just have to be delayed a turn. All right. So let's gain some life. We'll go to 18 again. They're at four. There's a red source. So as of right now, we have a guaranteed win on our next turn. That could always change. Our opponent could have a discard spell. Who knows? They play a land tapped, two cards in hand. They attack for six. So we'll go to 12. Ouch. Okay, so we'll gain three life, going back up to 15. And whatever we draw here that we don't want, we can just discard to the cookbook or play it out. Okay, this should be lethal. Cremator. Target them. Wow, that was a nail biter, but we got game number one versus Recto Scam. I don't actually like discard in discard mirrors, but the question is, are any of these cards in our sideboard better than our main deck? I guess Haywire Might blows up opposing ley lines. I don't hate that, so we could board out a couple Inquisition. Let's bring in the explosives too. Yeah, I want both Haywire Mites. You know what? I'm not going to bring in the explosives. Let's just do this. I think I want to leave in Thoughtseize for like Terminus or Shieldred or whatever. Yeah, this hand rocks. Keep. Leyline of the Void. Okay. We do have the Haywire Might already. Thoughtseize. I have a feeling we're about to lose the Haywire Might. Although we do have a second. We have a second copy. Goodbye, Haywire Might. It's been real. <laughs> Thoughtseize bug. And they say that it doesn't exist. Well, science just proved you wrong. The One Ring Grief, Orcish Bowmasters. All right, we'll take Grief. You can have Bowmasters and the One Ring. Did you draw the land? They did not draw the land. Okay. Let's Thought Seize them again. Fain Death, Bowmasters, the One Ring. Okay. We'll fetch. Doing ourselves a lot of damage this game. I think I'm going to grab the basic and then play the Epic here. I'll play the Haywire Might next turn and not Lightning Bolt myself to get Overgrown Tomb. They find land too, but still their hand is nothing. Emrakul. That's a cool card. Play a Haywire Might. Swing. They're at 13. We have two power in play. Clearly we're winning this race. They Thought sees me. Sure. They take the Emrakul. I'm not surprised by that. But it also gives me a reason to keep the Haywire Might now. I don't necessarily need to just use it. And they're at 11. We'll grab the Overgrown Tomb. No, I don't want to pay two life. Thank you, though. Are we going to just go beat down with Voldaren Epicures? Oh, yeah, it's happening. It's happening. All right, take one. And now we'll attack for two. They go to eight. Yeah, you don't stand a chance versus the Vampire Army. Let's go. They find land three. We know both cards in their hand. So if I end step both them, they go to five. We attack for three down to two. I guess we'll hold the bolt. It's like sort of free. I love it. I love it so much. Vampire beat down. Take this, Rakdos scam. Nice ley line of the void. Bolt you. Bolt you for the 4 0. Let's go get that trophy. That's what I want. I'm sure you want it too. Yargle deserves it. That's what I have to say. All right, match five coming right up.
With Cart Order, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Cart Order. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Cart Order for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. For the trophy, it's match number 5, we're on the play. All right, so we have Epicure Double Profane Tutor. I have no clue what our opponent's playing. Is this a keep? I guess we do have a curve here. I'm not sure how I actually feel about this, but I'm going to give it a try. It could be very bad against the Counterspell deck, but let's see what happens. Turn 1 Blood Crypt. Ouch. 18 life. Well, Darren Epicure, I'll sting you back a little bit. It resolves. Our opponent goes to 19, and we're passing the turn. Godless Shrine, so not a blue deck. Underworld Cookbook. It's a cookbook mirror. It's the cook off with Bryant Cook for the trophy. I love it. All right, so we draw land, which was not ideal here, but we can suspend a profane tutor. That's something we're allowed to do. Suspend. We'll get in there. Hiya. They'll go to 16. Okay, now they're at 14. Thrilling Discovery. Are you on Dredge? Dredge with cookbooks? I guess that makes sense. It's a every turn discard outlet. Or we're playing a mirror match and they're playing white. Uh-oh. That's not good. So Profane Tutor lowers the suspend counter. Should I not attack with Epicure then to stop their large creatures? I don't know. They're already lower than... I guess... <sighs> If I drew Emrakul, that would be the one difference maker. We draw another land. Wow. All right, we'll play over on Tomb Tapped. Suspend the Profane Tutor. I'm going to pass the turn. I can't... Well, we flooded out hard here. Um, I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to get with my Profane Tutor next turn. Do I grab a Gorio's Vengeance and hope that our opponent um, like doesn't do anything? And, and hope that I draw into a large thing? I don't know. Well, joke's on you. I have nothing but lands in my hand, opponent. Uh-oh. They have the Emrakul. Okay. They got us. That's a bummer. Okay, so we're playing the mirror match. I th Do we even want Inquisition in the mirror? We definitely don't need Cavern of Souls, so that can get boarded out. I maybe should have boarded that out and some others as well. Probably don't need Lightning Bolt. Leyline seems kind of free. We'll board that in. Could bring in a spell bomb. I think I'm just gonna try this out instead. <sighs> Maybe I should have brought in um Haywire Mites for their ley lines. Guess we keep this. Play Black Leaf Cliffs. Like it doesn't have ley line in it, but it seems like a hand that functions. And select Neonate. Draw. Yargle. We'll play a saga. And suspend. Pass the turn. So if our opponent has Agorio's Vengeance here, they can set us back to the Stone Age. It's not a win yet, but it's very good. All right, so they don't have a win here. They pass. Profane Tutor loses a Suspend counter. Gorio's Vengeance. Another Emrakul. Okay. Play out a Saga. Pass the turn. They have land three. Am I dead? They go to 17. They're going to combat. It doesn't look like I'm dead here. Okay. Basic Swamp. Atroxa. Okay. They play an Asmo. They're keeping two mana open. It's got to be for something, right? All right. So we'll activate the Saga, create a construct. We'll discard Multani or Yargle, whatever you would like to call it. Yargle and Multani using the official name. And we have a 3-3. Three, three. All right, and now Profane Tutor happens. Okay, we'll cast it. I believe we just want... So here's the thing. I could get the Cremator, but Cremator isn't lethal. Uh, it puts them to one. So I could get the Vengeance, but if they have Surgical or anything that would remove Emrakul from the graveyard, I would get hurt. I believe it's supposed to be Gorgo's Vengeance. And now we'll draw... Lay a line of the void right on time. We'll just tap this for mana. Grab a cookbook. Play our land. We'll activate cookbook. Discarding Emrakul. 
Gorgo's Vengeance, the Ember Pool. They have Hallowed Moonlight. That is brutal. Okay. That's tough. We'll swing for five. No blocks. We'll discard the Ley Line. And they're at ten. I mean, we figured that they had something because they didn't play the cookbook on their turn. Um, but I was not prepared to play around Hallowed Moonlight. They suspend a Profane Tutor. Okay, we'll draw Yargle and Multani. Oh, I meant to make a construct. Whoops. I was too busy narrating. That's awkward. Wow, because I could have put them in a spot where they had to block with the Asmo, because I'm missing lethal this turn now. <sighs> it's so disappointing. Well, I guess they block anyway, but that's still a giant punt. Okay, we'll pass the turn. They discard a Profane Tutor. They play their own copy of Urza Saga. They create a food. They play Hazaret. Okay. Yep. Looks like they missed. So we'll take five. On their end step, I'll discard the Multani. Our creature will become an 8 8. Another Ley Line of the Void. Now they have to block, or else they're dead. Pass the turn. Profane Tutor comes off Suspend, and they get to go get the, what is it called? Gorio's Vengeance. Also, very punished this game that I didn't board in the Spellbomb. Because Spellbomb would have been a very good get instead of the extra cookbook. Like, I'm probably just dead here. They play a drum. What did you get? I mean, discard the Ley Line, I guess. Okay. We'll swing. I mean, they can always just make a construct and block as well. Swing for nine. So it's weird. Like, I, I figured that they got Gorio's Vengeance, but if they had done this on their main phase, they could have killed me if they hit another Gorio's. Um, they didn't, but they hit a slew of insane cards. So I think in general, it would have just been better to main phase it, but whatever works for them. And they're definitely set up for the mirror with Hallowed Moonlights. And I just have to pass here. They discard a Hollowed Moonlight. Okay. They go to 15 by playing out an Untapped Blood Crypt. Another copy of Underworld Cookbook. Thoughtseize. I guess we'll discard the Emrakul. They go back down to 13. There's no chance that I win this. There's not a draw that I have that wins. They play another Hazaret. Honestly, I'm kind of hoping that they just find the creature off this so I can call it a league. <laughs> like, I don't have a draw step that wins, and they have lethal on the board for the following turn. So, end my misery now. And they failed again. This card stinks. This card, not looking so good. Uh, but we're going to take 13, and that's actually just lethal. I'm not going to sacrifice a food token. I, I don't have a card that wins, so... Uh, 4-1 is not bad. I thought that this deck was super impressive. We lost the 5-0 to the mirror match, which is ultra sweet. Um, no real thoughts or changes on the list. I mean, I probably didn't play perfectly. This was my first time ever playing the deck, but I absolutely loved it. I would recommend it to you any day of the week. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. And as always, keep storming. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. After you do that, open up our description where you can find all of our social media networks, including our Discord, where you can discuss today's deck in that Discord with me and tons of other combo masterminds. It's absolutely free to join, and it's certainly worth your while.